Hello Stacking Ohana and welcome back to another video. This is Aloha Stacker and welcome to my channel. And today is the $10 challenge week seven. I think it's seven, let me check. I can't remember to be honest with you. Yes it is, it is week seven. And we'll be doing a few other little things. I've had some requests to put our good friend Charlie Brown under the microscope so we could see if we could see Woodstock on the back. I've got some channel mail. I've got back to some of my stacking roots. I've got some cool commemorative coins to show off. Um, I think that is it where we're going with that. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and remove all the stuff from the desk as I usually do. Oh, and by the way, I just hit 562 subscribers. So can we get to 600 by the end of the year? I don't know. I hope so. Myself and uh, our good friend Prepping with Sarge, we're both shooting for 600 by the end of the year. So any hope you can help get us there, that'd be awesome. So like, share, subscribe. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with some channel mail. And we're going to go ahead and start with our good friend Liberty Stacking. Now Liberty Stacking and I have done a recent exchange. So... I've seen his stickers around and I was thinking, man, I, I thought I was subscribed to him and I don't think, I don't know if I was. And then I just reached out and said, hey, it's time for us to trade stickers. So what do we got? We got ourselves a couple cool stickers. He gave me number six. Look at these are awesome. I love having seen the American Silver Eagle on a sticker. So that is really cool. Thank you, Liberty Stacking. And I got a nice little note from you and it says, Aloha Stacker. Thank you for doing a sticker trade with me. Love your channel and the Raptor. Yeah, I love that Raptor too. If I ever make it to the island, or you make it to the mainland, we've got to go wheeling. Ha. <laughs> Enclosed is my ASC number six sticker and a fresh one. Stay safe and keep stacking. Best regards, Liberty Stacking. Thank you very much, Liberty Stacking. Uh, one sticker will go into the perma sticker stack, <laughs> and the other one will go into onto the sticker board. Moving on, we got, uh, next we got our good friend, Bricktown Silver. And you know, I've done a sticker trade with Bricktown Silver, so I'm not really sure what he sent me. Uh, he sent me a sticker that fell out of the envelope, so I got another one of those. You know, the BS zone that's the Bricktown Silver Zone, by the way, for those of you who have the minds. Okay, let's see what our friend Bricktown has to say. He says, Aloha, Bricktown has your back. Here's that barber piece to juice or to jumpstart your barber foundation. Oh, the barber foundation. Thank you for supporting my channel, too. Ricky Bobby says, Not at all. Boys stay bad. Bricktown, Gus and Ricky. Oh, well, on P.S. Gus and boys, thank you for your service. Oh, well, thank you very much for counting. And cool. Oh, the Barber Foundation. <laughs> That's right. I remember when you did the bar, you showed off all those barbers in the video and you were talking about your Barber Foundation. I said, hey, man, I need to get in with this. I need to start my own Barber Foundation. And uh, lo and behold, you got me kickstarted. So let's take a look and see what we got with our good friend, Mr. Barber, or Miss Barber, I guess, right? We got ourselves a Barber dime from 19, the good old year of 1911. How, what was that year like, Bricktown? I'm pretty sure you were around during that year, right? Because you did fight in the Great War and you flew those biplanes because, you know, I remember they're in that pistol packing pilot video. So, you yeah, you have to let me know. But that's cool. That is, some, that is some slickness right there. Look at that face. Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate the Barber Dime. Let's go ahead and move on to our next and last final channel mail letter. And this is from, I don't know, uh, it's from Pittsburgh. So do we have another Yinzer? Is it a Yinzer alert? I don't think it's Pitts. Him and I have already traded. So let me see who we got here. Oh, look at this. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. We just, yeah, okay, cool. This is our good friend. Mask Man Metals. Nothing written on the back. Okay, so just I got two stickers from Mask Man Metals. That is a one cool sticker. I dig it. I love it, man. Let's see what we got here. Uh, hey, Aloha. Thanks for the trade and hope all is safe in Hawaii or in safe I Hawaii in Hawaii. Thank you for the support. Mask. P.S. I heard you like Libertad, so here you go. What is that? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. No freaking hold on. We gotta we gotta get some light shifted for this one. No freaking way. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't have this denomination of Libertad. This is a 120th of an ounce. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. Look at that. What year is this? Looks like a 2010. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. That's a 120th of an ounce of silver. Oh, that is so, dude, mask. That is so awesome. I didn't send you any silver, but I sent you a ton of swag. I know that. I hope you got it. Oh, man, that is so neat. Look at that. 120th next to, uh, next to, let's put it on top of the kilo. Let's put it, let's put it right at the base of the kilo so you can see. Kilo, <laughs> 120th, massive kilo. 
<laughs> Look at the size. Oh, you know what? Hold on. This is kind of funny. Let's, let's, bust, let's put them next to each other. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a proof, too. Oh, that'd be cool. I don't think I have any proofs. Well, I have the I have the uh, 87 proof, but wow, look at that. <laughs> Kilo. Look at that. Look at the thickness. <laughs> wow, what a size difference. It's so awesome. Man, man. I got to be careful with that Kilo. I can knock over my whole desk with that. All right, right on. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to... Um, okay, first, let's go ahead and... I got a uh, shipment from JC as gold. So let's go ahead and bust that open and show off what I got. This this is a pretty neat, this is I, I know what this is. I had to open it up in advance so I get some information on it because it's a very unique coin that I had never seen before. So when I won it on auction, I had to make sure. So what we got here? We got uh, our friends at JCS Gold. Quick little advertisement for them. But we got ourselves. Let's go, let's go ahead and take this out. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and glove up for this just because I don't I don't do this enough and I don't want anybody to be upset with me that I'm touching coins. So let's take a look, see. So we got ourselves a Republic of France from 1908. Look at that, that's a beautiful coin. And on the other side, it says Piastre de Commerce and it's from Indochina, French Indochina. And it's 90% silver and 27 grams. Now this coin is 0.7813 ounces of silver. French Indochina, if you don't know, is the current countries of Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and part of China. So this is was this was the coins they used there, and they were made of silver. And piastre actually is derived from pieces of eight, believe it or not, the peso. The peso and piastre kind of have the same meaning. They both are derived from the ocho real, or from the eight, the eight reales. So that's pretty cool. Let me see if I can find out what it says about the coin. I think I have a some details on this. I think on the front we have... So we have Liberty seated. So we have the Lady Liberty on the front and on the back, it looks like we just have uh, just some writing in the wreath. So that's pretty neat though. A denomination within the wreath, yep. Yeah. So very cool coin. Uh, the mintage on this coin was, what year is this? This is a 1908. So this was minted at 13,986,000. So definitely not rare, but definitely cool because I had never seen one before and I don't know how many of you've seen these before, but that is a pretty neat coin. French Indochina. So uh, we got uh, mostly, most of it was just Vietnam. Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and China. So very neat. So we'll go ahead and set that down. And we're going to go ahead and move on to, oh, you know what? I totally forgot. This is the $10 a week challenge. So let's bust that out real quick. And in this week's, we have a Canadian proof. So there's Elizabeth II. And on the back, we have, so this is a 1982 Canadian proof. And wow, look at that, look at that luster on that. So it's a 1982 dollar with a stagecoach and some horses. So this is, this was designed by artist Karsten Smith and it shows a stagecoach in the snow led by four powerful horses under the guidance of a lone coachman. So this coin was minted at, let's see, 187,612 of these were minted. This is 0.7487 ounces of silver. And believe it or not, I actually got this coin for under spot then because if I got this coin for $10 and it's three quarters of an ounce of silver, yeah, I can, wow, I got a good deal on this. So fantastic. So this is a beautiful coin. I wish, let's see, it's so shiny that I don't want to, like you can actually see the reflection of okay, my camera and everything in there. So that's pretty nice. This is a beautiful coin. So this is my week seven. And as you know, hold on, let me get this glove off real quick. You know, we have our really cool, uh, chest let me go ahead and you guys remember that from last week and our grinch from our poor month and uh, so we're going to go ahead and add this to the chest for week seven i'm not going to bust out all the other coins this time so but you're going to see that it is going in to its new home to our awesome pirate chest and oh I, you know what this i found this the other day and this is a sterling silver swiss army knife and it even says it because it and it can be engraved it hasn't been but right there is where it says 0.925 so that's pretty cool yeah swiss army knife Got the, uh, the standard uh, Swiss Army knife stuff, scissor, uh, nail file, and knife. So that's pretty cool, right? Sterling silver. I wonder what that's worth. I have no idea. So, all right, so let's go ahead and move on. So now I've got some commemoratives that I was able to pick up at auction as well. Uh, I know this, let's see if we can push through some of this pretty quick. But for, okay, let's go, let's pull out the mint set first. So first we got a mint set from 2015. So let's go ahead and open that up and show that off. So we've got 2015 America the Beautiful. 
So there's just some of the information on the quarters. A lot of you know that already, but let's go ahead and bust out and see what we got. So what we got here, we got ourselves five quarters, and it looks like the states that are in this one are, um, actually, let me go ahead and pull this up so you can see while I read it. Um, Homestead National Monument, Kits Kissa Kissa Kissachi National Forest, Blue Ridge Parkway, Bombay Hook National Wildlife Refuge, and Saratoga National Historic Park. Why doesn't it list the states on this? I have no idea. That's kind of annoying. So let me see if I can pull. Let me just go look at it. Okay, so we got Nebraska, Delaware, Louisiana, North Carolina, and New York. So we'll go ahead and show that again. You guys can probably see this better. Wow, look at that face reveal. That's crazy. You guys got to see what I look like, sort of. And look at that. You can see like my camera perfectly in there. <laughs> These things are so shiny. Anyway, 2015 mint set. Very cool stuff. Let's go ahead and bust out. Let me get all this stuff out of the package. It'll be much easier to show this off once we have it all out and on my lap. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So we've got ourselves this. So 2010 American Veterans Disabled Commemorative Silver Dollar. Hopefully that's the right one because I... Oh, no, that's not the right one. So it's this one. Okay, so it's this one. So it's 2010, American Veterans Disabled for Life, Silver Dollar. So that's some of the information. Let's go ahead and bust this guy open. And there it is. I had to get this. Once I saw this, I was like, I have to have this commemorative dollar. And the reason why is because I'm a veteran. And next year when I retire, you know, I, I've known a lot of people who have left with some disabilities. So if this helps support them and this in... I don't know, it just, uh, just means something to me when I see this. So it says, take a moment to honor the disabled veterans of freedom, e pluribus unum, $1, United States of America. Now, I don't know what the mintage is on this. Uh, I don't think it says it on the card. But mintage, oh, it has a mintage limit of 350000 but I'll double check and see because a lot of times they have a mintage limit, but they don't always sell all the coins. So if that's the case, then uh, I'll, get a, I'll get a mintage out and I will uh, let everybody know what that is in the description as usual. So let me go ahead and put that away. So that's the disabled veterans of America coin. Go ahead and do the next one. So this one is the Jamestown 400th anniversary coin. I thought this was pretty cool too. So when I saw this one, I was like, hey, this, this is another one that I like because I've actually been to Jamestown. I lived in Virginia for a couple years while, during my time of service and I actually went and visited Jamestown. So take a look at that. 1607 to 2007 founding Jamestown. So that's pretty neat. And then on the back, they got the ships. And we know, and I know a lot of people in this community, we love our, we love our ships on the back of coins. United States of America, $1. So that's the Jamestown coin. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get that off the table because I'm gonna have to bust the microscope out after we're done with these coins. So let's get these up. So next we have this one, and this is a 200, 2015 U.S. Marshals, United States Marshals anniversary. And this one is in a nice black case, and it's got the little U.S. Marshals badge on it. So that's pretty neat. But my favorite part of this coin is actually the back. So this was a 2015 commemorative. Uh, it was 1789 to 2014, uh, in God We Trust 2015. And then on the back, look at this. Look at that picture. That is awesome. Justice, Integrity, Service, United States of America, the U.S. Marshals. And I love that right there. I'm a big Revolver fan, and that is bad H. <laughs> so that's a cool coin. I hope you all like that one. Uh, I'm not that big into commemoratives, but when I saw there were some good deals on some of these, I, I had to jump on it because uh, I don't own that many commemoratives, but I really like them. So... That covers that. And then, uh, also, oh, and these are also got these all from JCS Gold, too. These were all auction wins for me. Let's go ahead and dump that out. Let's see what we got here. So this one was three and one. So it looks like we got the 1983. So this is from the 84 Olympics that were in Los Angeles, uh, the 23rd Olympiad. This means a lot to me because I actually got to go and see the torch bearer running at the final end of that because uh, my grandparents live nearby. So that was pretty cool. United States of America, $1.00. So the Olympiad coin, and then got myself an Ellis Island. I've seen this on a few other channels from 1986. Uh, I've seen a couple other people have this uh, coin, but this is a really neat one. It says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to be free. United States of America, $1. So another silver dollar. And then the final one I got was Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, architect of democracy, 1743 to 1993. That is the 250th anniversary, I believe. Yes, uh, Liberty. And on the back is his home of Monticello, United States of America, $1. So that's pretty cool. So those are all the commemoratives. 
Oh, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can so we can start preparing to get the microscope ready. Uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way too. And uh, but first, uh, but first we before we do that, we'll do that last. Uh, I did get back to my roots a little bit, and I uh, I got some stacking stuff. So instead of collecting this time, I do have some some stacking. So let's see what we got. I got you, and I have got. I got this from Texas Gold and Silver Exchange, and I got this from Monument Metals. So I'm back to my stacking a little bit, and I've got myself some some uh, stacking rounds. And uh, this is good for trade. This is good for just having additional stuff. But let's see what we got here. These are Atmex rolled rounds, but I did not buy them from Atmex. Uh, let's go ahead and bust this. See if I can bust this open. And give me a second. <clears throat> Man, they make these they make these things tough to open. Give me a quick second. I'm gonna take the gloves off. We will, uh, I'm going to have to use old trusty, trusty silver knife and let's go ahead and see if we can, man, they, they taped the crud, crud out of this. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Okay. So we got it. All right. And then let's do this one too. This one actually I got to pull the tape off on this one too, so I can show these off. So, so we can see what they are. I don't know if anybody recognizes the red lid, but it does say on the top, silver or silver. And those of you who speak German or Austrian probably know what that means. Right, uh, Austrian stacker or silver 47 or Kunsten, Karsten Hunt silver. You guys all know what this means, right? I hope this doesn't like lose the value or anything if I'm, if I'm just busting this open. I don't think so though, because these are just, these are just rounds anyway. Man, I should have uh, opened this in advance. Okay, let's see if we can let's see if I can get this busted open. So this will be easier to. Okay, popped. Okay, let me get some gloves on so I don't have to touch the coins directly with my hands, and we will uh, show off what we got. <sighs> I'm getting tired. I don't know about anybody else, but I feel tired. Why is this glove not going back on my hand? Get back on your hand. I think I put these on upside down. I did. <laughs> I put the gloves on the wrong hand. Oh, of course I did. Oh. I meant to make this video much faster, but it seems like just another one that's taken forever to get through. I know you guys like it anyway, and you always tell me it's not a big deal, but uh, I always think it is. Okay, what do we got here? We got ourselves some Austrian Philharmonics. So I'm not gonna take them all out, but there is 20 of these in a roll. Uh, and you got the Philharmonic, you got all the instruments, and then on the back you've got, uh, it says the Republic of Austria, and I'm guessing that's some type of, uh, concert hall. I'm not 100% sure. Austrian Checker, you can let me know. I'll look it up later. But, uh, I don't have many of these. I think this is, this is the first tube of these I've ever bought. So, if anybody wants to see just awesomeness of tubage, look at all that. Oh, yeah. Who likes the sound of silver clanking together? I know I do. Okay, so... 20 ounces of solid silver there. Now this is 12 and a half ounces because these are actually half ounce coins. And I got these, I won these off auction. Uh, and then what do we got here? We got the Elizabeth II of Australia, 50 cents. And so these are Australian tire sharks. And this is from 2016 and it's a half ounce. And then here there is 25, 25 total. So let's bust those out so you can enjoy, see, hear what that sounds like when these coins clank. Uh, doesn't that just sound awesome? I love the way silver sounds when it clinks together. You like that? <laughs> I do. All right, let's put these back in their home before I do. Uh... So if anybody wants to make trades and they like these coins and they think, hey, I, I, I wouldn't mind having some of those, let me know. Just, you know, shoot me an email. I'm all about the trades now that I'm doing a whole bunch because I just did one with Pirate Stacker. I've done one with Alien Stacker. I've got one that I have uh, just completed with uh, Bucks Nation, and I'll be showing that off in a video next week. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And uh, let me get these off the table. Let's go ahead and get uh, the scope out because I promised from the request that I would do a scope video. We're gonna go ahead and pull the gloves off. Boom. Let's get you off. Let's get you off. Let me grab ourselves good old Mr. Peanut. Peanuts coin. And as you know, 7,000 of these minted, they're going, these are going for almost 80 bucks just in this, in the special sleeve. They're about 45 to 50, uh, not in the sleeve. 
Let's go ahead. So I remember saying specifically that Snoopy is in the coin. A lot of people are like, well, I wish I could have one with Snoopy. And I do. I wish they would do like another one. But there's Snoop, there's our friend Snoopy right there. So right there proves that the Snoopy is on the coin. Not much of a Snoopy, but he is sitting on top of the 70th anniversary of our, you know, of our good friend Charlie Brown. But let's go ahead and bust out the back and see if we can identify Woodstock on top of the piano. All right. Um, where are we at? There's Schroeder, there's the piano, there's the top of the piano. And that should be Woodstock right there laying on the piano. Let's see if we can zoom it, let's zoom it out all the way out first and see if the outside zoom shows them a little bit better. So that's Woodstock right there. Very hard to see, but he is, but they did include him on the the coin. Let's go ahead and zoom in much farther and see if... That's really hard to make out, isn't it? So there's the piano. There's the top of the piano. And that should be Woodstock. Right there. See? Very hard to, very hard to tell, though, to be honest. There. Does that look pretty clear? What do you guys think? Pretty hard to see, isn't it? Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and back out a little bit more. It was easier to see when I looped it, when I stuck a loop on. If you can make it out, that's that's pretty good because it's it's hard for me to make out under the microscope. Let's see. Because so there's a couple of the characters, but that's supposed to be him laying on the piano. But that's very hard to tell. That's really hard to tell. I mean, that's him. Or that's part of the shoot. They should be right there. So, but you know, Woodstock, he's tiny. So anyway, that's what we got. So, uh... Thanks again, everybody. Oh, uh, let me do a quick plug for our uh, 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Uh, I'm day two. This is all getting ready to start. We only got a few more days till this begins. So please, 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 if you haven't, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're liking all the videos. Make sure uh, you remember that uh, what everybody's giving away. Uh, I've got two Morgans, or I'm sorry, two Benjis and two Barbers for day two. So I was supposed to only give away two, but I doubled it because, you know, it's Christmas and that's cool. And uh, boom. Beautiful sticker. Thank you, Silver Husky. Silver, And uh, there'll be a link at the end of the video. It'll be up in this corner as usual. But other than that, that's all I got for everybody today. I know it's a lot. Sorry for another long video. But we have fun together. Nobody seems to be complaining about it. Just me. <laughs> that's okay. But anyway, you guys all take care. And uh, have a wonderful weekend. And this should be preparing some time on Saturday. So hope to see you all then at the premiere. And I just want to say aloha and mahalo, my friends.